Welcome back everyone. In this short and crisp video, we will learn what exactly Git workflow is or to say in simple words, how exactly Git works internally. Whether you are someone who has some knowledge of Git or whether you are someone who is just a beginner in learning how Git works, uh, understanding the Git workflow is a must. So without wasting time, let's get started in learning Git workflow. Now before you watch the video further, you need to have some basic knowledge of Linux commands. You can watch it by clicking on the link on the right hand side. Having said that, let's continue with the video. Let's try to create a simple directory or a folder in Linux using the mkdir command. Here, we will make a directory called as my underscore app, which will become a git repository. A directory is nothing just a folder in Linux. But we want to convert it, this directory into a git repository. So we will use the command called as git init. Now git init actually stands for git initialization. Okay. It converts your directory to an empty local repository. Whenever you run a git init in an empty directory, a special folder called as dot git folder is created. Now this dot git folder is somewhat like a database which keep a track of all your files, all the content you have modified into the files, all the new contents that got created or the new files that got created. It will just keep a track of all these files in this particular repository. Now, since this is a local Git repository, it is important uh, to create some of the temporary files so that we can be used, uh, use that for the tracking purpose. So for creating the files using Linux command, we are going to use a, a command called as touch. A brief about touch command is that it is used to create empty files. The syntax is basically touch space file name dot extension. Once you write this particular command, what happens is it's going to create an empty file into your directory. Now let's try to add the file into the staging area. Now, once the files has been created, Git is not technically aware of this file. We want to make Git aware of this file and I want Git to track this file. Okay. So for that, we need to bring, bring the file into the staging area. And this is done using a command, which is called as a Git add command. Now, basically what you can do is either you can add all the files into the staging area that is present in your directory using git add space dot, or you can just write that particular file name that is git add your file name, which will bring that particular file only into the staging area. The files are present into the staging area, but it is still not part of the Git repository. In order to make it a part of your Git repository, you need to commit these files into the local branch. Okay. For that, we will use the command called as git commit hyphen m your commit message. Once you do a git commit, all the files that are there in the staging area. Now, let there be one file into the staging area or let there be 100 files into the staging area. All the files which are there into the staging area will be moved and committed to the local branch. Now, since it was an empty repository, uh, a default branch is created, which is called as the master branch. And a first commit happens over there, which in which we are moving a file to this particular branch. The most important thing that you guys need to remember is master is not a special branch or something. It is just a default branch that uh, Git gives us when it creates a Git repository. You can create any number of branches in your local repository as much as you can track them. That's it. So this is the whole workflow of Git guys. Uh, a file basically moves from your non staging area to your staging area using the Git add command, a local and from the your staging area to your local branch using the Git commit command. Uh, it's very important to understand how exactly the files are being moving from your 
uh, from your working directory or your force directory to your local repository now nowhere i have said that this is github gitlab bitbucket right those are all together different concepts now this video is actually focusing just on your git that's all okay with that said guys thank you for watching the video and if you felt that you have learned something new make sure you hit the like button if you're watching the video for the first time uh hit the subscribe button and do hit the bell icon because i keep on uh uploading videos regarding automation testing and devops thank you so much for your time guys uh signing off from here is jatin sharma bye